Hi everybody, I'm Mike with Lenovo, and I'm here with the Think Center M73 series, which is available in three form factors. We have a tower, the small, and the tiny. Today we're going to be replacing the PCI Express card in the small form factor. The process will take about 15 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. The only tools required will be a Phillips screwdriver. Before we continue, we want to make sure that we're protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. For more information on ESD, click the link in the description. Now let's get started. First you want to remove the two thumb screws. and then slide the cover back and lift it. Now we want to pop the clips loose on the front bezel and then open it and remove it. And we still have a cable here that goes inside. And now we need to open the drive bay assembly. We just want to open it until this latch pops and locks it open. Now we need to disconnect the power button cable from the system board. And now we have these two clips that hold the cable in place. You twist to open the clips and then you can pull the cable out. And so now we just need to pull the front bezel away from the system and feed this cable through the hole in the chassis. And now we need to lay the system down flat on the table. Now we want to remove the screw from the tab that holds the card in place. And we want to lift the card straight up out of the slot and then pull back to get the tab out of the hole. So here we have our new PCI Express video card in the anti-static bag. And we want to go ahead and remove it from the bag and replace it in the system. So to replace the card, we want to align the card with the slot and make sure the tab goes through the hole in the chassis. And once you have the card aligned, you press down until it's fully seated. And then you replace the screw in the tab to hold the card in place. So now we need to stand the system back up to put the front bezel back on. We need to feed the power button cable through the hole in the chassis pull it all the way through. Now we gotta make sure the cable goes back into the clips and you twist the clip to close it. Now we need to reconnect the power button cable to the system board. Now we need to close the drive bay assembly. We wanna press down on the blue touch point on that latch, which allows you to close it. And then you just make sure it closes all the way. And now we want to align the hinge clips with the holes in the chassis and then close the front bezel like a door. We place the cover onto the system and slide it forward. Then replace the two thumb screws. 